Welcome back to Main Street Living, Danielle Quincy. You know that I love travel, always on the go, on the road, on an airplane. And we are getting ready to talk about one of my favorite cities. <laughs> yes, uh, we've, talk, we've been talking about it all show long. It's spring break season, and that means a lot of us are looking for a fun, safe getaway. And luckily, there are some great options this year, and sunny San Diego is at the top of that list for a lot of people. Uh, so here to talk to us today about that, Candice Ely, an expert on all things San Diego. Uh, Candice, I have to say, I'm very jealous you get to live in San Diego year-round. It seems like it should always be on our short list to travel to, right? Yeah, I'm going to admit those of us who live in San Diego are pretty lucky. And especially during this last year, you know, when we've all been staying at home more and, you know, trying to do safe activities, San Diego is really lucky that we have great weather all year round. So we've been able to go out and still do, uh, you know, enjoy being in San Diego, even during this past year of quarantine. Yeah, you know, and Can Candace, uh, you know, so many things that uh, people can do. There's the museum attractions and they're reopening and everything. But what are some of the things the visitors can do safely on a trip to San Diego? Yeah, we're really lucky that we have a lot of options for folks that are still safe that you can continue to do right now. Outdoor recreation is definitely one of them. San Diego is all about the outdoors. You know, our residents love being out and it's something that visitors enjoy too. You know, when you're here, you just get that like, that good vibe of being in the sun, smelling the ocean air, you know, it really does wonders for your soul. So right. it's, you know, everything from if you're a water lover, you can kayak, you can paddleboard, you can surf, you can just hang out by the beach. That's my personal favorite. <laughs> and. So, so Danielle, I don't know if you heard this beautiful tag for San Diego. San Diego, it does good for the soul. I like yeah. It. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I mean, she was saying a lot of active things, and then she's like, oh, we're laying by the beach. And I was like, now we're talking. I know there's, exactly. I don't yeah. know if there's yeah. people yeah. like me. Um, <laughs> so besides the beach, what is the situation with uh, restaurants in San Diego right now? Well, fortunately, indoor dining is back. We do have our restaurants operating at a reduced capacity to, again, to keep it safe. And if you're not quite comfortable with indoor dining yet, and I know some people aren't, outdoor dining is super easy to find here. Again, you know, we're privileged that we have such nice mild weather year round that outdoor dining has always been big for us. But even in the last year, we've seen a lot of restaurants get creative, adding more outdoor spaces. The neighborhoods have added little parklets where restaurants can extend their outdoor areas, to, again, to keep everything super safe. So you can still enjoy a nice meal. You can still enjoy a craft cocktail and, and feel good that you're protected and that the staff is protected as well. Yeah. Um, and you, you like, could you, well, could we just double back and, uh, and talk about the, the museums at, I believe it's Balboa Park? Yeah, Balboa yeah. Park. You can't take food in there, Quincy. No, I know where you're going with this. You can't. Or drinks, if that was your next question. <laughs> but our museums are open, which is fantastic. In Balboa Park, there's 17 different museums. So that's oh everything gosh. from air and space, to art museums, to a uh, model railroad museum. So no matter what you're looking for, you can find something there. We do you know, ask visitors to double check with any place they're planning to go, whether it's a restaurant, a museum, whatever the case may be, just to verify their opening status and their hours. Because of course, every business is you know, responding right. to the pandemic in their own way. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, so with the spring break season, that's like the test of getting back out there season. So for families yeah. wanting to get away, are there any special deals? Yeah, absolutely. If you go to our site, which is San Diego.org and mm -hmm. go to San Diego.org slash spring, we've got some special deals there from our partners, uh, hotels like the Hotel Solomar, which is downtown, the San Diego Mission Bay Resort or the Town and Country Resort in Mission Valley, which just went through an amazing renovation. So it looks fabulous. They've all got special deals right now. So you can take advantage of that, of course. And then and then the you know activities on top of it. It's a great option for families. It's also a great option for you know a couple looking to get away. Spring right. break might look a little different right now. It yeah. might. It's yeah. more about relaxing than partying, but you can still enjoy a good break. Yeah, Danielle. 
no parties. Okay, I've outgrown uh, any kind of partying possibilities for myself. Um, but Candace, so what is uh, your idea of a perfect day in San Diego? What are your can't misses, your must must sees? Absolutely, I have to do a hike at Torrey Pines. It's one of the most beautiful okay. spots. Uh, it it overlooks the ocean. As you're going down the hike, you can end on the beach, maybe have a little picnic down there. I'm a big fan of Balboa Park, as we talked about. Yeah. We have you know, some other great museums like the Museum of Contemporary Art downtown that you can check out. Mm. And so some of the neighborhoods have been hosting really fun, creative events, again, that are, are very wow. safe. Like the Barrio Logan neighborhood has been doing uh, on Saturdays, they've been doing sort of a like walk the block kind of atmosphere where they have, oh, you know, cool. the retail shops and folks offering like handcrafted goods out on the sidewalk. Again, super safe outdoors, a way for you to enjoy the neighborhood, maybe pick up, you know, something that was made locally to take back mm. as a souvenir. All right. And that. lastly, um, you know, where can viewers find all these special deals and what about the theme parks really quick? Yeah, absolutely. Our theme parks are reopening and they are offering some, you know, fun ways to kind of keep things lively and fresh for the guests that are coming. The San Diego Zoo has their spring adventure through April 11th, which has, you know, live musicians performing throughout the park. Legoland California is reopening on April 1st. And then SeaWorld has the Seven Seas Food Festival, which they're doing, which wow. goes through May 2nd. So a lot of options out there. You can find more information about all of this at san diego.org. And also through, also through our <laughs> social media channels, which is at Visit San Diego on Instagram. And then, of course, Facebook slash or Facebook.com slash San Diego. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We certainly appreciate it. Can't thank wait to you have you so much, Candice. Hope we can see you here soon. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Well, Danielle, uh, now that we have a little taste of what sunny San Diego offers, what do you say we get on the road and explore a little bit more and prepare for spring break 2021? Let's find Cheryl. Uh, I will be on the beach. Yeah, let's find Cheryl in her high mileage car. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. 